go over some of the basic features of the Mother 32's LFO and how to use it at audio rate as a second oscillator. An LFO is just an oscillator that is slower than the ones you hear. You can use it as a control source or as an audio source. The rate of the LFO is reflected by this flashing light right here and can be changed by the LFO rate knob. The LFO has two shapes, triangle and square, which have their own outputs over on the patch bay. Let's patch the LFO triangle out to the VCF cutoff in in order to move the cutoff frequency of the filter the way you normally would with that knob. Let's hear what that sounds like. You'll hear it change speed as we move the LFO rate. The LFO can also be used as an audio source by taking that same cable and plugging it into external audio instead. In order to hear it, we'll move the mix knob all the way to the right. As you can see, it's below 20 hertz right now, so we can't hear it. But if we turn it up, it'll eventually get fast enough to be audible. It's essentially functioning the same as a VCO now. We can control the pitch of this LFO from the keyboard the way we may be used to by plugging the keyboard voltage into the LFO rate input. Though it doesn't track perfectly, we can hear it follow along with the notes we play. Now let's use the mix knob to dial in the original VCO sound along with it. We can now use the LFO rate knob to tune the two oscillators together. The differences in tracking become more obvious here. Hopefully that helps open up some new creative options, and if there's anything else you'd like to see a video of, please let us know in the comments.